Hi, I'm Alan Sagano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group, and today's tip is about public-facing servers. So, if you have a public-facing server and uh, it doesn't need to be accessed by certain countries, then you should consider doing a geo filter or geo fencing, right? And just block, you know, if, if nobody needs to access a particular server from Russia or China or you know North Korea or something like one of maybe a more hostile uh, country that's known to have a, a large group of hacking activity, you may want to consider just blocking it or consider this is blocking uh, public facing servers period and if and require like an SSL VPN uh, for your internal users to access that server with two factor authentication. It's just getting too dangerous out there. Um, you know, people are enumerating your servers, figuring out what's public facing, you know, knocking on all the windows and doors, checking it, see what's available and what uh, might be able to be compromised. So we are now saying just lock that stuff down, um, SSL VPN it if, if you need, if internal users still need access to it. But if a, a public facing server doesn't need to be accessed by everybody, consider tightening that down. That's our tip of the day. If you like this content, please boink hit that subscribe button. If you need some help uh, figuring out how to lock it down and, and what would be the best way to do that, we can certainly help you out with that. Send an uh, email to info at adscon.com and we'd love to help you out. Thanks a lot. Stay safe out there and we'll talk to you soon.